Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see um, an easy surface creation. We create a surface, um, a water drop surface. So um, it uh, actually depends only uh, by this graph mapper and we can see how the surface uh, change if I move this mapper. It gives the effect of uh, water do droplet surface. Just moving this uh, point on the graph mapper. We can increase the number of waves. We can increase the amplitude of the of the waves. Okay, and in the last part. We will see how to render this kind of surface, and uh, we'll do it with with the V-Ray V-Ray plugin for Grasshopper. Thank you for watching. Let's start creating a line. So we start for a point, vector, construct point, we start from the 0, 0, 0 position, so we put a constant, as we usually do, we put constant on a panel, so we create panel here. Uh, with the right click we select multiline data, so we write zero control c control v control c control v two times to add the three panels and connect it with the coordinates of the point so we have the first point to have the second one we have to use move double click on the canvas if to open the research panel um, Take the point and connect to geometry of the move. Then uh, we select uh, a vector. So uh, we just click two times on the canvas and then click X to select the vector. Okay, we create two points. We can connect them with a line. So <coughs> curve, primitive, line between two points. This is our line. So now we have to divide it to, in, to find a lot of points, division points. So divide curve, division point. We uh, we use numbers like that to define division point. Okay. Then we take the points and uh, move them vertically. So we use a z, verse, uh, a z uh, vector to move vertically. Now we have to to drive this movement. And how do we do? We do with a graph mapper. Graph mapper. And we decide how to how to move this point on the z direction. First of all, we have to create a series of number to use, and uh, but this series have to be defined inside the domain. So we create before the domain uh, a b-dimensional domain. So we construct domain. Construct domain. We create a domain between uh, z 0 and uh, 1. Then we create a range of values. Range uh, defined inside this domain and the number of, uh, of uh, step has to be the same of uh, the counter of the divide. But uh, pay attention. We, we, we make a test but 
you have to pay attention because if here we have a 30, here we have 31. We, and we want that the, the number here and the number here uh, are the same. So to be to do this, we have to uh, to change something here. So we put uh, the operator so subtraction here, and then uh, we subtract uh, a, a constant. So we create a panel. A constant uh, multi-line data and we subtract one so we enter in this component with 29 and we exit with uh, with 29 and uh, we exit with 30 so we have perfect uh, perfect link between divide and range now <coughs> we have this um, uh, 10 uh, we, we have uh, in this case 30 number between 0 and 1 then we connect uh, with the uh, graph mapper and then we connect with the Z ok now we work on the graph tiles we choose sync now uh, with the uh, we have these two points who let you move the graph now so we can move the this point in order to create a graph you see if, if you um, if you grab this point on the right you will have more little waves the creation of more little waves if you want to create more waves you have to increase these values so it's like the resolution of the curve okay this is our alpha profile now what we have to do is find this point that it will be the center point of the of the uh, revolution against uh, around a z axis so these are the moved point now what we have to do is interpolate them with a curve so we use a curve and we uh, use a spline interpolate interpolate and we connect with the uh, points now uh, we have to um, uh, we have to create a surface so to create a surface we use freeform revolution revolution and uh, see what uh, what the component has to us um, profile curve this is the profile curve the revolution axis and the angle domain the axis of a revolution uh, is made starting from this point so what can we do is uh, select this point from this collection so we can um, we can easily find it but by with the list item list item and uh, we select uh, we use the item to select the right the right uh, dot uh, you can see that uh, it's not the right dot uh, the right dot will be the um, the last one otherwise we can change the f the um, uh, the shape of this curve it is is uh, very easily instead of uh, putting the graph on the right we can put it on the left in this way we already have this point when we have this point we can extrude it we can move it on the z direction we can move it and so we have a line between two points that is vertical we create a line between two points curve primitive line between two points okay this is my revolution axis okay 
a domain is uh, already to uh, to pigreco so uh, uh, if you don't know radians we can uh, use uh, degrees uh, so we we write red to select radians we connect the radians to d and then in d we put a 360 degrees that is the um, full angle and we have a surface with a water drop surface now how can we see it? Uh, we can see it in two ways one is uh, simply uh, with the right uh, of the mouse we click on bake we select the layer which we want the surface to be and we click OK and this is uh, our surface if you uh, it, it is OK but uh, if you want only to work on Grasshopper and you want to uh, to see uh, your your surface uh, uh, change dynamically um, you can also use Vray Vray that is uh, a software, special software from uh, Cash Group, and uh, it's integrated with uh, uh, Grasshopper. So we open Vray, we uh, create uh, a geometry there. So Vray geometry uh, is the way to assign material to the geometry. So we collect, uh, connect the surface to the geometry, and we connect the material to the, the geometry. Uh, I choose Vray Material Preset, who has uh, so preset uh, options inside. So on preset, we click with the right of the mouse, set, op uh, set option, and we choose plastic. And uh, color, we, we give color uh, uh, through uh, color picker, color picker, who let us to choose the color and uh, the preset material uh, we choose uh, plastic and uh, so we connect material to material then we go on the render main components that is here and we uh, link a geometry with the geometry and uh, we create also a camera to uh, focus the, the shape so we create a render Vray camera and we connect camera to the camera to the camera input of a render so now we have to find the target and the position to find the target and position we create some points so and we will move it automatically um, by grasshopper but you can also choose one of the point uh, in Reno at the and bring them into the definition but I want only want to work in Grasshopper so first uh, we open a vector point, construct point uh, we create a zero zero point and then we so we can we, we can also um, copy all this part now and I want to, to move it in uh, the direction Z and direction uh, X direction through some slider so I click 10 to have a uh, integer slider it's a bit too much 10 okay um, I added this slider to be where is it? Slider type floating point, so we can move less than one. Okay, and then move in the x direction. So I change only the vector here. I keep the slider too. Okay, so I can move this point in uh, both x and uh, z direction. This will be my camera 
camera position and then I copy all this this part to have the target position move the slider uh, in a way that the uh, the target is next to the surface we, we want to, to show and uh, you can see the camera here so move the the target and the position in a way that you have uh, you focus all the surface okay I think we are okay now I um, rise this I rise only the um, the camera a bit okay let's try so um, we we need to create um, uh, a light and we can create a light the same but uh, first we see what happen uh, if it, what happen if we click on render okay this is this is our uh, our uh, surface that is rendered in a grasshopper interiorly now we can change the color from our color picker okay and uh, we can set the mode set option interactive so what happened here when uh, uh, when I move something the render start loading and uh, render the new definition the new surface so for example if I um, if I easily change something here for example I want more waves okay the render will follow and if I click here show frame buffer uh, is already um, evaluating the uh, this new uh, definition so with Vray we can uh, we can render everything we can add the light we can add, add light rig uh, we can add, uh, we can decide the um, uh, the uh, how much uh, bigger is your image or how much is uh, your um, um, uh, you, the quality the quality of the render the final render quality so if you go here and we set option height uh, you will uh, you will eval evaluate with more precision the surface we we produce and uh, with uh, a lot of uh, and using a lot of time to have uh, a lot of pre-pass to obtain the geometry you, you can see is still still evaluating the surface and so you have a lot of capability and uh, and you can directly uh, modify uh, the everything of the uh, of the sur of the basic surface surface um, and at the same time Vray will will evaluate uh, the will evaluate at the main time the final render it is useful in grasshopper so thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video put like and subscribe to my channel bye bye